Okay guys, we're back to uh, the acrylics. I have my colors all mixed up. We have dark purple, we have yellow, we have uh, burnt sienna, we have orange, and we have yellow with a little bit of orange to make just an other shade of orange yellow. And um, I'm going to use uh, the Naples yellow and titanium as the background color. And, um, oh, I didn't even cut off the top, I see. Oops, that's it. There it is. I'm going to um, put a little bit on the uh, canvas first, just to make it wet so it will slide a little bit better. There we go. Because I'm going to try this first on a small canvas. And then, uh, if it works... I'll do a larger canvas. So we're going to do the sides so we don't have to um, do anything to the sides after we put the little pour on top. Um, I'm going to do the, um, the Elise technique and um, if you want to really see all the possibilities of this um, pour, um, I will put the, a link to her YouTube channel in the first comment under this video so that's easy for you guys to find and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching what she does too because she makes uh, really pretty art okie dokie this is all covered all ready to go now um, I really want to do a really small swirly things but I really do want all the colors put, put in there too. So as you can see, I'm sort of layering them. There's a lot of bubbles in there that I sort of don't like because um, I just mixed up this paint. But we'll see what happens. A little bit more light yellow. And one more purple. Okay. I think we have enough to uh, to make the pattern. And if we don't, we can always add some more later. So here we go. Now I'm going to do this really carefully. Ooh, I think that's a little bit too much tilting. That's that. I think that's more than enough because of course we want to uh, get some of those um, nice round spots. and let it flow over the side. There we go. And there's absolutely no, um, there is no silicone in here. That's something we don't use when we're doing this type of pour. Now, um, I've already cut up <coughs> a few pieces of this, uh, the photo paper. If you have um, Yupo, it'll work perfectly. And I, we use this to pull the, pull the pattern apart. All I do is like this, up on top, we round it. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. But that's so we can just, you know, get in between these little spaces that we want to pull down so I'll take the bigger one for this bit here there we go and we're gonna pull it down and I do need my little cloth forgot about that because you want to um, every time you swipe you want to clean off your little piece of paper because if I were to use this here, that would contaminate the white 
and I don't think that is something that's going to look really cool. See there's paint underneath, but we can fix that. That's no problem whatsoever. So we're going to put that in here. I'm going to swipe it down. Do that again. And we can add some more there if that is uh, if that irritates us. Every time I clean off that piece of paper. This one we're going to swipe down a little bit. And when I finish this one, I'll show you the dried one I did last week to show that it dries totally uh, flat. Because right now it looks like, you know, where you push in the paint, it looks like there's uh, some sort of a bump in the paint. But you shouldn't let that worry you because that'll be gone once it dries. Now this I kind of like, so I, I think I'll just add a little bit more paint up here and a little bit up here. Now let's see what happens when we pour it down a little bit. Now it goes over the side and it makes just that difference in the, uh, the whole thing. So don't be afraid to add a little bit more if you think you need it. But this part, what I'm doing now, that is really important because you do want to have these things that go over the edge. They do have to be nice and straight because that adds to the, to the pattern. Now I'm going to pull that down a little bit. So I'm not really brushing, but only pulling it down. And that'll, oops, contaminate it a little bit. Tuck in the corners. And this side, we want this to come down a little bit. There it goes. And pull that one down. That's good. Okay, well, this is pretty interesting, and I do get a little uh, a little bit of cells here in the middle, but that is the the paint density that's coming into play, and um, I'm I'm sort of thinking, you know, sometimes I would really like to see some cells, but then you lose this beautiful wavy pattern, and I don't want to lose that. But there's a lot of paint on the, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of paint on the canvas. But let me get in a little bit in focus. So this is uh, something totally different. And as you can see, it's pretty appealing. I think it's pretty. And as you can see up here, um, there will be uh, little cells popping up. And I... Um, I want to really tell you guys, you can't do anything about that. That is paint density coming into play. The only thing I don't like is that little bit here that you can see a little bit of uh, stripes. And I don't want that because that will irritate me really a lot. I have some here too, so I'm going to add a little bit of paint. And add a little bit here and pull that down with a tiny little one that I have here so we're gonna smoosh it in and pull it down now it's gone so that's okay and the same thing we're gonna do up here we're gonna push it down and pull it down and oops Ooh, this one needs a little more because I'm sort of um, moving too much paint and then you see the colors that are beneath it so let's do that again it needs a really light touch very very light now I'm getting a lot of um, emails about people asking me why it doesn't work for them or why their paintings are cracking and all kinds of stuff but as I'm getting these mails, they're telling me that they're using like the cheapest paint ever. And 
Um, they are using uh, dimethicone and they're using a uh, good pouring medium. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking, why would you then use like, sorry for the word, but it's crappy paint. Like if you're buying the cheapest paint you can, you can find, there is so, um, um, there's not enough pigment in the paint. So, um, this is studio quality. And then of course we have the tubes, which is artist quality, but, oh, and beneath that there's craft paint that is acrylic, but even some of those are okay. And then you have the very, very, very cheapest paint you can imagine. And the thing is what some people don't realize because they just step into this, um, to this uh, hobby is that when there's not enough pigments in there, uh, especially with the black, you're pouring black and then three, four months later, the black turns to purple because there's not enough pigments in. So don't, don't, you know, save bucks on the paint. Then just, you know, I would rather just choose uh, less colors and um, start off with that and eventually just buy different colors um, opposed to buying the really, really cheap stuff. Okay, I have to do this because I do see the bubbles. Okay, they, it did add a little bit more of those little things, but I think um, it, it sort of, um, it fits the, uh, the painting. So I'm going to put this one away. I'm not going to tilt it too much because there's a lot of paint on here, but I'll show you this when it's dry. And while I'm putting this away, I'll get the one I did last week. So this is the one last week. As you can see, it dried perfectly uh, uh, as I poured it. There are no cracks in the paint anywhere. Uh, it flattened out totally. You cannot see any bulges or whatever. It just flattened out. And um, the only thing you can't avoid is those little, little bit of pinholes here and there. Um, if you're really serious about this and you don't want the pinholes, you will have to really mix this paint and make sure you have the perfect thickness, even maybe a little bit thinner than you would usually use, and put it away for at least a week that all the bubbles are popped, and then you can, uh, then you can start to use it. Now, what I do want to do is scrape up a little bit of this because I'm going to clean this table with a cloth because I want to do one more, but then a little bit bigger. And we're going to use what's left here in the cup. There it is. And this really is, uh, this will turn to brown. That is kind of nice. Let's pour it that way and down this way. That is pretty. That would look really good in a, in a pendant, wouldn't it? Let's just fill this up, pull that down a little. That is really pretty. Those are some really intense colors too. And I'd like it to come down just a little bit. That is nice. We'll keep this one. These are very warm colors and they really remind me of, um, of autumn, the leaves and the trees and all kinds of stuff. Let's just do one more, a very thin one. Just back and forth, back and forth. That's it. Pull it down a little. And over. That is pretty too. And I'm reaching for my glitter, of course, because uh, I think if you use it for a pendant, a little, a little dust of um, gold will go nicely. Let me catch it.
That's nice. See that? Just a little touch of gold. That is really pretty. Oh, and guys, about the um, the uh, what I told you about the documentary I watched about Van Gogh and Gauguin and Picasso. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but it's uh, only in Dutch, so you won't it won't help me you any if I tell you where I watched it, unless you live in Holland, of course. If you're in Holland, then slip me an email because then I'll give you the link to where I watch it. It's an on-demand thing. Uh, it's also been put on DVD, but I watched it on demand. And um, you pay, I think you pay $2.95 a month to, uh, to watch that stuff. And this turned out a little bit grubby in the middle. But uh, you pay two ninety five, and um, you can watch a month for two ninety five, and I think it's worth it. Even if you were only to watch um, those, you know what I was talking about, the documentary, because um, you can buy them on DVD, but they're like fifteen euros a pop. So then, when you pay for the on demand thing, that makes it pretty cheap. Just putting some more paint on, guys. And pouring off the white. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like this what's happening here. But I just do not like this little bit there. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm going to clean up this mess. And I will be uh, right back. And we're going to do one. But then a, a long one, I think. I'm, I'm going to find a, a longer uh, canvas. And then do one right smack in the middle. Interesting. Love you all to pieces. Later.